In our setting of ancient Greece, 431 BC, the Peloponnesian War is raging. So every little city-state has its own uh, army and they're allied with either Sparta or Athens. They're, those are the major superpowers of the time. But at first, the Peloponnesian War took place during the 5th century, which is a crucial moment in history for our civilization. Because as Thucydides says, it was the most important conflict in antiquity between the rise of a democracy and the ancestral system of the tyranny and the oligarchy. But also plenty other opposition between tradition and modernity, religion and science. That time period is still relevant for us today because we we still embrace a lot of those philosophies. We still quite have the same questions that they were um, thinking about uh, back then. So it was a match made in heaven for an Assassin's Creed game uh, in explored history. So the landscape of Greece is, is magnificent. We went to visit and the, the epic vistas that it allowed us to create were, were something that we really wanted to concentrate on recreating in the world. Greece is made out of 85% of mountains, so it's a very uh, mountainous landscape. Which is great, by the way, because yeah. it's creating tons of layering, so we could play with fogs and, uh, and mists so to create a very uh, unique ambience. It, it also plays with the, the sensation of the Odyssey as well, because there's always the sensation of what's beyond the next mountain range, what am I going to get when I go there? You always get a really cool view as you come over the hill and you see the next region lay out in front of you. It's, that, that really reinforces the sense of you being on your, your own Odyssey. For us, Greece needed to be colorful and very lush because that's what most people have in mind when they think of that amazing land. We pushed saturation and colors quite a lot in our game, even though we had different biome also in it. So. Yeah, we knew that this world was going to be huge, so it was super important to make sure that we, we kept it interesting for the players. So as they go from region to region, it's not always just the typical picture of Greece. We saw snow-capped mountains and we, we saw lush spring valleys and things, so we wanted to really recapture that and make sure that we, we gave that to the player when they went on their journey. Reconstructing ancient Greece was quite a challenge. For some city, it was harder to find some specific data. For example, on Mykonos, nothing is remained. So it was quite hard to reproduce exactly the city as it was during antique time. The big challenge was the chaos that the, that the Greeks used to build their cities. There was no urban planning as we know it today, so we needed to try and embrace that chaos. We tried to capture the importance of mythology for the ancient Greeks. The mythology is the integral part of their society, their social behavior, their belief, their religious tradition. Mythology also inspired them in their art, in their decoration of their temple. Also, mythology was used during that time period as a politic propaganda. So again, it comes down to a lot of research and working very closely with the historians to make sure that the actions and the behaviours of, of what people are doing in the world uh, is credible to our time period. So the, the meta eye system is still present, people still live their own lives, they have their own schedule. We were really lucky that our historical characters had quite a bit of information about them. You know, you have Plato's accounts of Socrates and, and who Socrates was and how he would infuriate people with the amount of questions he asked. And then we looked at historical documentation and the different myths and legends and the stories to help us craft the fictional characters and, and who we knew we wanted to represent, who we knew we couldn't leave out, uh, and craft their personalities based on on that. I'll do my best with what you've told me. Good luck. The heroes of the past, the legends, the myths, the philosophers, it is a, an amazing cultural setting to explore.